Um, okay. okay, so let's get started. So, did you have any thoughts or comments before we start, or anything, or like um, any anything to bring up so far? Or uh, honestly, I, I I I haven't really been much active uh, because it's been really hectic. So, like most of my week is this week even also a small side based and all those things. So the only thing that I had a look at uh, really, I did a bit of crushing work on the free chat. I think it was like about a week ago. Mm. Uh, so I saw some of the videos uh, that we posted previously with regards to free chat uh, okay. for beginners. Yes. So I was just looking at that and then just playing around, especially with the parts and all that. And then I did a bit of that. And also the, I think it was two days ago, uh, I was on LinkedIn and there was a bit of this uh, Adri, 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 Adriano, uh, yep. the, 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 just the programming side, so they were just giving this uh, free courses and stuff like that. So I was just trying to familiarize myself with the languages and the kind of uh, tech around uh, electronics and those kind of things. Yeah. So that's really pretty much what I got up to. But I, I couldn't really honestly get a chance to really dive much into into things. Okay. As I've explained, yes, my plan was that maybe Fridays uh, going forward and Saturdays will be the days that are here marked in terms of them having uh, set some time set up and fixed for uh, for, 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 for everything that will be so how many hours realistically do you think you can have commit to the, your studies i mean in the next few weeks mm -hmm. i mean it's limited you're really busy with the work yes because like i explained uh, it's a really crazy uh, from now on I, I think i think late later on during the year because now we're in september uh, yes because yeah. now we're in september yeah. so i was looking about my look ahead is that uh, the next at least three months it is a little bit uh, tighter. Yeah. But then from there on, but what I can commit, like I said, Fridays I I can book a full day of mine. I just have to get going. Uh, so yeah. I think the Friday should give me that sufficient time. And then I was thinking, if I don't do the twenty hours, obviously it's impossible to do it in one day. So I was thinking the Saturday could also be a a carry over or something that I can yeah. carry over. So for now, let's start with some visioning, like what what your goals are. Like we talked about what you, sure. what you'd like to accomplish, but can you tell me? Because we want to, you know, mm -hmm. since you're getting into a, a dedicated study program, mm -hmm. to gain clarity about what you what you're okay. So you're you're finished mm -hmm. with a program in two years or one year if if you decide that. But after two years, what would you like to have accomplished or be ready to do? Like, are, did you think about that? Do you consider that? Uh, because I think it's very useful to create some visioning for okay, what are the, what's the ideal state? What's the minimum that you'd like to accomplish? What would failure look like? What would absolute success look like? Focusing on the success, of course, failure only for like what's not acceptable. Uh, but um, have you have you given some thoughts or maybe? Um, uh, I think it's yes, something that you do want to you do want to consider that a little bit. Let me send you a link here. No, for sure. Yes, um, yes. So I have the um, outcome sort of. So you want to make it like an outcome-based kind of program, so that there's uh, at least those milestones and KPIs. And yeah, I mean we've got you know I've got a, there's plenty yes. of things to do. Don't, you don't have to worry about yes. that. And as far as tangible projects, yes. so yes. but by starting with what you, I think the way to think about it is if you look in the link, uh, click on that yes. in the chat box. I'm looking at it. Yes. but. As you start, I mean, of course, we're going to go full force on, okay, let's get tractors built or machines built, 3D printers, torch tables, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then underarching, keeping track of the entire vision, what are you here to do? Like starting with a long-term vision, like, like when I started the, mm -hmm. the Global Village construction set or open source ecology, mm -hmm. um, the vision over time keeps refining. But at some point it came to, okay, yes. let's get the 50 machines. That's big, that's hairy. Let's start with a big goal that we can pursue. Because the idea typically is that you underestimate what you can do in a long time period while you tend to overestimate what you can do in a short time period. But just to get the thinking proper on a topic, uh, what I would suggest is, uh, as in the Les Echo conversation, there are blank links, long-term vision. You know, think about it seriously. Like what? 
what are the things that are aspirational? Like, I would say, um, let me share my screen here. I'm going to write some notes there. But think about aspirationally. Like, think aspirationally about big vision and don't be stopped by practicality. Uh, in other words, don't worry about your resources or capacities right now because life is about learning, right? And here you have an opportunity to learn. So um, maybe you could, I mean, as much time as you want. I mean, it's up to you how much you want to spend your time, but I think that's really useful so that as you're going through the program, you can be very clear, like, okay, these are my long-term visions. And you've, you've expressed some interests. We've talked about the mineral extraction, processing, and up to doing things like, you know, are you going to be the first guy that starts a distributed metal processing to full metal, like, and changes the world with that for, for not only for South Africa, but for the world? You know, is that a goal of yours? What do you, what do you want to what do you want to select as your goals that make a difference? Because we like to think about we're not here just to like kind of go with the flow. We're we're about fundamental transformation about how economic systems work, and you express the social vision along those lines. Um, and we also mentioned like about leadership for Africa. If South Africa is a country that's kind of like at the cutting edge, so. Under the long-term vision, so when you click on it, you can... Let's see, do you have a wiki account? Yeah, you do. I think you do. Yes, yes. I'm actually looking at the... Yes. Yeah, but start filling it out with your thoughts. And okay. then I would say what I'm going to ask is uh, think about it seriously. And we'll do kind of like like at the quarter at the quarter mark, meaning like quarterly review, yeah. kind of review what how like we're progressing. Quarter. At the quarter review mark revisit this and see see if you want to update it or change or sorry, whatever okay so the line yeah there was a bit of a, a breaking uh, oh you can't see my entire screen no i can see the screen just the, the voice was distorted oh, okay now i can do it. yeah so just think about it and it's like anything on the wiki is a live yes. editable document Right, so like yes, I follow. Are... So you can lock everything within yeah. Yeah, the respective uh, categories. Yeah, things like that. It's uh, the biggest yes, thing. Yes, so is... I follow. So it's more like things. I, I really see. Yeah. So, so I, the I first the thing link now, so I lock, I lock the information on that. Yeah. So the cardinal rules are. Um, they're like log. I mean, obviously, log okay. all your work. Because that's, you know, working openly, you help others. Like, yes. it's called time, like the big concept there is called time binding, where over time you can, like, as, as long as you document it, you can build upon it. So even if it's like just a tiny little article on a wiki, like on Wikipedia, they call these things stubs. You ever hear of stub on Wikipedia? Stub oh. means that it's a, it's a really short article. There's like not, a, not any information. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But start with oh, stuff. Oh, Starts okay. with start with like if you think it's not worth it, no, record it anyway because you can build on it. That's the kind of culture. It's like always about you put enough down information down so that you can build upon it. And that's called mm -hmm. time binding. It's it's a concept from I don't know if you've ever heard of general semantics or semantics. Mm -hmm. General semantics. Uh, the human capacity is unique that we can record information and build upon it. That's what makes us different. Yes. And here's a chance to do it in the 21st yes. century with wikis, since writing was invented 10,000 years ago and mm. and uh, the printing press was invented in the 1400s. Now we have wikis where we can upgrade the, doc the information constantly and collaborate on a global scale. So it's a unique opportunity. So really take advantage of that and, and kind of like try to understand that culture of of documenting that that it can be built upon because because um, the philosophy there is um, I mean it relates back I, I want to get this 
this point about collaboration clear is that uh, we have the capacity to solve, like if humans decided to solve all the world's problems, like right now, we could do it. It's not like there's not the resources, like physically, wealth, like energy or tools or technology. That's not the limit. The limit is in our minds, right? Of what people think is possible. And getting the clarity that if we all collaborate together, then we can do more. That's that's the big thing. And there is going to be a, I mean, you'll, you'll get practical experience on, on this very much so 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 for example the the housing pro the the seed home part uh that's going full force forward i mean we're looking at uh which is actually another option for you to get engaged in but next year we'll do a major major entrepreneurial development effort where we document the whole enterprise around the seed home about the rapid construction a house that in America, it would cost you $50,000 for a thousand square foot house that you and a friend can build in one week. So that's that's the product. Um, so we're going to be rolling that out because obviously housing is well, housing is the number one cost in people's lives. So that's a that's solving a real problem. And also for when we build OSC campuses in the future, we have a way to do it just like that. Uh, because the methods are also parallel, just like all that we do, like with the tractors, you can get a lot of people working on it at the same time. So for the construction, you, I mean, construction is limited by how many people you have and how much workspace you have. It's not like, oh, you, you can only have so many carpenters on a house before they get in each other's way. The way we build, it's unlimited for scalability. You can build, if you build modularly, you can build all the modules and assemble them rapidly into place. Now, that is going forward in a major way. Um, and I also wanted to ask you if, if that's anything that, what role, so first of all, what role does, does housing, do housing issues play in your work? Did you think about, so we talked about machines and tractors mm -hmm. and mineral extraction. What's, do you have needs for structures and housing? Yeah. No, of course, housing, I mean, is even at the top of, I think, even the machines. Uh, because, I mean, like you have explained it, obviously, housing is more like, I mean, it's at the top of even the, I think, the machine that I uh, Whereby it's essentially a need. So, I mean, just the other day, I think myself and my friend were talking about just the, 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 the needs in terms of people's. Uh, for housing projects and all those kind of things. So obviously housing is something that I, I really sort of honor and value a lot. In fact, in some of the videos that I've, I've seen from your side, yeah, obviously, uh, particularly when we initially started with the uh, brick press and the yeah. development of houses. And I think I saw one, I think it was in Thailand, where you did a project somewhere in Asia. I think it was just... Uh, no, not, I don't think we did anything. Not that I know of, at least. Or, Maybe some oh, somewhere I don't else. Know, but I, I saw you build somewhere there. I don't know. Oh, but we I built in, something. We built a micro house in Belize, actually, in Belize in South Africa, Central Central America. Um, Central America, yes. Yeah. But actually... The that's, 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 but actually, part of the building project is because this this also is a way to fund the future development. So there's a good revenue model for the sure. housing part. Uh, we think we're just going to get tons of people wanting this. So our goal is actually 2,000 over two years. So over the next two and a half years, to roll out like 2,000 of these things, which is going to be crazy. So that's that's the current plan. But um, and then, uh, what I, while we own it, I just wanted to also ask, because I, I've seen a few initiatives. Uh, I think it's uh, mostly the companies, US-based companies. Mm. whereby they use 3D printing obviously to do the housing development yeah. and obviously at the forefront of this 3D printing as well. Uh, what are the possibilities? Has there been any, any interest from your side maybe to try and uh, do that uh, yes, apart yes. from the conventional methods using 3D printing perhaps? Yes, so definitely. So, so first of all, the housing project involves uh, mm -hmm. 4 by 8 panel, 4 foot by 8 foot, so it's like uh, let's let's get that to meters. Uh, four Four by, four by eight feet to Is that meters. Um, it's about three. Yeah. Four feet to meters is one point two meters. 
so about 1.2 by 2.4 modules our goal as part of this is to get that started in a serious way so by the time we were in august in fact by the end of this year we are building the larger printer and sh showing initial examples of taking trash and turning it into 3d printed lumber things like that that's one now um, yeah also with that because the universal axis can do we can do that in large scale so also do the wire arc additive manufacturing 3d printing in full metal using a mig welder yes that's forthcoming that's not not right now but it will likely be around next year around the developments around the house because because at that point we'll pretty much um so in the middle let's get to some documents here let me share another document so critical path so seed home it's a page called seed home and you can see about all the details of the planning uh you can click on that well in fact um let's say whole con conversation so it's um this is really friday september 4th i'll putting all these links um, at the top, seed home two, yeah. So make it a general practice to communicate all the relevant material on your log. So there's seed home two, and then there's uh, development budget. So we actually got this budget. We got a hundred nine about hundred ninety k to spend in the next four months. This is news. This is actually news. We just got it yesterday. Um, so things are moving forward, um, but here's what the development budget looks like for what we're doing in the next four months. I was just just working on critical paths for that, but uh, here's actually yeah here's planning documents. Let me share the other one here on the business plan. Well, you can study the. Oh yes, I, 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 I it just went blank on your side. Yeah. Oh, did it? Um. Oh, maybe. You. you can't hear me, or can you hear me? I can hear you very well, but I just can't see. You. Okay. I I don't so I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. That's okay for now. Uh, let me just uh, show you the so business plan seed home to planning we, we're calling it the seed home planning so here's the planning ah here we go here's the seed home planning but on the link um so go to so i have let's say kinds of conversation Yes, that's where I am now, and then... And you can refresh. And I put the three links on top. Yes, I've got it. Uh, mm -hmm. Sit home. Uh, yep. I think it's version 2, uh, with a business plan and the... Yep. But let me share my screen, see if you can uh, take a look at my screen. I'll share the screen. Okay. So, yes, so yeah, for 2020, see. this is big. So, so, but it relates to your your 3D printing materials. So, in 2020, which is uh, this is kind of like the top line here is 20. This is 20, 21, going into 22 on the bottom thing here. Okay. But up here, so two airports, yeah. Um. But we've got this is Hero X right here actually. So we're doing a big incentive challenge with a hundred thousand reward. That's the, on the current plan to do, and that revenue is actually bootstrapped from funding that goes through people um, investing in the houses in the housing. So that's actually that's part of that. So Hero X. Now that's a big life size panel printer for for pr printing four by eight foot size panels so that's this is something yeah, to change the world here now with that the same technology if you put a mig welder head on top of that on a on the same kind of gantry the yeah 
You can do wire arc additive manufacturing, so it's WAM, W-A-A-M, wire arc additive manufacturing. So we're also looking at, that seems actually like low hanging fruit for what we can do. Um, now, the other stuff, like for the typical thing of 3D printed houses is, is for using clay or cement. Now we're not. In Asia, I think they use also rice or one of those things. Yeah. Um, yeah, my screen did go blank. Um, here, let me just refresh real quick. Okay. So. Yes, we're um, uh, Yeah. We're not prioritizing that. I mean, the thing about the the concrete printing is it's okay, but it only gets you walls. Walls are not the majority of a house. I know. Yes, because so, you still have to do your foundations with the traditional methods. You put your rebar, you still put your concrete, and then only then you can do the printing around the. Yeah. And you still have to pretty much do the roof. And, and, but that's why, uh, like. Traditional means. Yeah. Well, but that's so we need a little more effort on that. But that's why uh, if someone wants to do that, do an OSC fellowship around that, like they're welcome to. But right now it's like if you decide that you want yeah, to go that direction, you can. But I think the bigger power right now is in the machines, like the going from printer to CNC torch to machines, and which then you can do houses too. Mm. Um, but that's so kind of the, of the understand the concept. Sorry, my yeah. uh, It will be the panels and then they are modularized panels. And then yeah, you just exactly. pin them together to build a structure, and then you can exactly. almost get. Uh, so, okay. so for you to understand that, let me share my screen again for Seed mm -hmm. Home. Now, okay. Seed Eco Home. So this is how we built this this thing right mm -hmm. here. Uh, this thing, you can't see it in this, but this is made of four by eight panels. Mostly, oh, okay. Right. Um, that's the inside, but this is uh, this is what happened there. This we built this one in five oh, days with fifty people. Okay. So the idea there is there's a lot of advantage to doing the panel construction because then uh, you can rapidly build that. You can build all the panels individually and then assemble them rapidly into place. That's the advantage. So yes, 1.2 by 2.4 meters. Right now they're wood. By August next year, if things were the stretch goal or like it would be major, major success if we're actually able to print them. To get there, we have a $100,000 challenge on Hero X. Uh, if you haven't seen Hero sure. X, take a look. Hero X, I, I just heard you talking about it. HeroX.com. Okay. So, meaning somebody like me would be able to also participate. Oh, and that's the point. To, that's because, the point. I like, mean, we, we, yeah. we, we, I was still trying to answer into the question that you asked earlier on about the news files. I mean, South Africa is one of those uh, places where there's really high need in terms of formalized housing structures. Because as you would see, there's a lot of informal settlement challenges where like, there's a uh, People are living in, uh, I don't know what you call sheds, but then you call them sheds. This, uh, yeah. Basically, just informal structures and all those things. You know, and then uh, I think there was, there's been a, a backlog in terms of the, the, the trying to address the problem of housing. But then because of this, yeah. housing, it's in cheaper ways. I guess the problem is universal. In terms of housing. It's universal. So housing and I'm not sure. Do you have uh, access? Uh, How's access to land? Can you get land at affordable cost in South Africa? Yes, with the money, if we raise enough money, it's, 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 it's How much very is much affordable. Cost? How much can you get? Well, out? it depends on the areas. So, currently, within the areas of uh, Johannesburg, uh, Rustenburg, where I am, it's slightly a little bit expensive, but I can check the rates. I would have to confirm that. How so much the, is it? Because um, in America, you can, it's amazing yes. in America. Like, you go on willow.zillow.com, you got okay. plots lots little lots for a house they're everywhere like i mean a lot of them are expensive but there's plenty that you can find in chicago or anywhere outside a city in a city okay. they're like five thousand dollars for a little plot you know it's that's like so what would be how many hectares no or just just a house lot but you can also oh, have like a thousand square just a house meters. yeah thousand mm -hmm. square meter or like five thousand square meter or so um 
you can get like up to like a you know half an acre for a qu typically quarter acre lots quarter acre which is like no actually the small ones are they're only like four thousand square feet which is like one tenth of an acre just enough for a house but that exists here and, and in your country yeah i mean the house project is actually highly relevant because we're training entrepreneurs to build those for the united states if you want to go in that direction for south africa that's a that's a possibility but i, I mean since you've got the full deal you'll be able to participate in that challenge and you'll be actually be very well qualified to to do that challenge because you'll have the tools um, you already have some of the tools part of the requirement is that we're all developing or completing the open source machines to do this in other words the only way it's going to be even possible to get a machine like that at any affordable cost is you by using the kind of techniques that we use uh, otherwise it's going to be like 10 times more expensive so um, but you'll you'll have a head start on that and we're not we're not like the rules of the contest are anyone can participate um, with the right tools of course yeah. now you actually actually that kind of brings up a an interesting question like about conflict of interest like obviously like i wouldn't participate because i created the contest right but you can participate and anyone else can participate even though like you're pretty close to osc now uh, but i think that's that's fine this is people who are getting trained and educated it will be, in fact be a mo an incentive like if you win it <laughs> then there'll be an incentive for uh people to say wow that guy got got some good training from the program exactly. i should take the program too you know so like a model yes that's what i'm thinking yeah. you know it's more like a flagship or trophy kind of thing. because yeah so i think it will be really great i mean even if it's uh yeah it's just participation to really see it. yeah yeah i mean participate yeah. the idea is that you participate as closely as possible like we're gonna need for example like if you want to be a person that's actually a facilitator you know because that contest is going to have like we're going to need to probably hire like a full-time staff person to manage that i mean i'm not going to product manage that my role is the whole project so i need to find a product manager treating the hero x challenge as a product so we're gonna to have to have infrastructure there now you can get involved in okay whether it's like maybe leading teams or just entering however you'd like but that option is yours and you're well positioned to to participate so in fact that would be pretty interesting if you guys got really involved you get your whole team and get them going and all of that so that'd be great um but that's exactly the purpose of the wow but that's that's yeah that's actually brilliant and then obviously the additive manufacturing will run parallel with this project that's your metal lasers yeah so yeah i mean there is a basic flow small printer eight millimeter large printer additive manufacturing 25 millimeter rods and we've done up to 50 millimeter rods actually initial prototype now that's relevant like the 50 millimeter rods <clears throat> so the universal axis let me show you this here uh, I think you've seen that. Might have looked at the mm -hmm. universal axis. I also the universal news. Um, universal CNC axis. So under so we got up to so there's five six. This is the tiny one. Uh, simple simple design you can make bigger things now this is one inch one inch rod that's bigger so you can that's by, by size comparison uh, which allows you so so the one inch more detail here uh, this is where you build like the torch table this size like look at for a size comparison to oh the pictures on there but yeah this kind of torch table which is which is like two by three meters or so, um, two by four or so. Um, but then you can get into that even goes higher. You can do the initial prototypes like we did here, the two inch universal axis. So now this is getting big. This is 50 millimeters. And you're talking a, a design where <laughs> uh, you're talking about life size frames like this for heavy duty 
uh, CNC. Application use. Yeah. Um, that's right. But yeah, you'll be well positioned to to go into any of this. Um, the goal is definitely we definitely want to get you going on an eight millimeter and twenty five millimeter because from the eight millimeter you print parts and make the twenty five millimeter. That's the goal. It's part of the part of your assignment. That's your homework assignment. Down the road, so you, you get to, you, you'll get to do a final project like as a final thing like we'd like you as a as a result of the immersion training. Of, as an OSC fellow in training. And then you do a project at the end for like three months where you build something that actually brings innovation to our product, to, to our whole yes, package. It's a contribution. So, like, yeah. Yeah, like all yeah. Yeah. so you can choose whatever project. you like. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like that's why I wanted you to, you know, let's say whole conversation there. I want I want you to do like, think about your long-term vision. Uh, let me share again. Think about the long-term vision. Start thinking about roadmaps. Critical paths. Please. There's all um, there's all templates for this kind of stuff, so you can you can make these things happen pretty much automatically. Like here on the critical path, check out. So see, just the critical path, and just use those as templates. Um, and OSC roadmap. We have just documents that we we did, but then you can just copy them, and. Uh, Modify them for your okay. your thing. Uh, if like you want to, I definitely want to have you start thinking about business plans. Like, okay, if you're gonna do this training, like, you you have to think, you have to think some about revenue models, right? So I want you to be thinking about revenue models. Like when you're studying this, um, you know, think because about business plans that that can be created around it. Uh, the cycle okay. pitch that so, was more like for the the final presentation. Yeah, I mean, it's, or, mm. yeah, I actually put it there because uh, the useful thing about it is like right now, as you're doing your work, if you can communicate that with a quick slide deck to a lot of different people, part of the work is mm. that, of course, we reach out to a lot of different people for collaboration yes. and development, so that would help you. So I would encourage you to do that. It's up to you yes. to do that. Yes. Um, it definitely would be useful, but yeah. I mean, the point is that there's an infinite number of things you can do. There are some very useful assets you can generate, but the main thing is for you to start building and, and, and learning skills for hands-on building. So all the other stuff, Correct. I think the prioritization is, okay, here's hardcore skill sets and builds. Builds, build a printer, build a torch table, build a tractor, things like that. Uh, but I'll let you. Correct. I'll let you. Um, but I, I really follow decisions. what you say because it, it was the line, and, and I mean so, certain things uh, like I think all those four areas that you touched really need to be answered thoroughly, so that it's very clear in terms of what the objectives are. Because often taking on something without really having a long term and sort of some objectives, uh, you end up being delayed. Uh, derailed a bit. So I really follow what you, you said. So yeah. I start trying to get into the habit of following and capturing and really having it well explained so that the outcome is, is very clear and the expectation and all that. Uh, kind yeah, of, and it's uh, it's for everybody's benefit because the basic idea is if you, if you can't measure it, you can't assess it. Like if you, you don't have a plan... You can't even say if you're on plan or not, so you're just kind of floating oh, like no, a hippie. Exactly, you get lost. <laughs> exactly. No, I, I follow. It. So it's more. I, I, right. I really follow because I think some of the questions that I would also obviously have in the future will really come within that blueprint uh, plan in terms of uh, where do you put them, how do you structure them, how do you get there. And, you know, by the time you get into the roadmap, then one knows exactly, and then you align that well with your your revenues, like you were saying, because. The most important thing is also revenues as uh, a moving For sustainability, yeah, otherwise like you, you say, go back. So you need to also be able to you know, express some uh, revenue ways and innovative ways of making an income and all those kind of things. Uh, yeah. As far as I understand. Yes. Because, uh, so just on, in fact, talking about the, so the roadmap, I think I understand. But in terms of the, the, the revenue, uh, do I tell you in terms of what I want to do uh, in, in 
in the future. Let's say I, I see an opportunity and then is, is that how I, or it will be more like a okay. business plan. Here's, here's the idea. Outcome. Good question. Yes. So right yeah. now you're working in your company doing consulting. You express that that's not Correct. your long-term vision. Yes. You express that you'd rather uh, be in, uh, do something more related uh, where you're not necessarily yes, working yes, yes. pretty much for big companies, yes. but you are creating the enterprise for your community and helping other Correct. people yes. do that. That's yes. what I heard. Yes. And uh, that's, that's right. Yes. Yes. And to get there, uh, you want to transition at some point out of your job so the, the the way to think about it would be what is if i'm getting paid to do my work right now and i and you're a, you're an entrepreneur you started the, your, your own company but if you want to transition to more aussie related work start talking about the numbers so what's that where is your money going to be coming from what's the first product you're going to make what is the first service you're going to create how are you going to serve people so you can get value back and therefore you're getting fed by your new way of life but what are those numbers where is that coming from what are you doing and that would be a business plan like you have to show some numbers that okay after you know this you might do a transition to like just a little bit of work on that generates mm -hmm. revenue but then eventually to ideally to full time so you're so your focus mm -hmm. is regenerative development not not keeping mm -hmm. the system the way it is so you're Correct. Yes. you're transitioning. Yes. So that's why we are here to just a bit of that system. But then at the same time, it's like answering uh, yeah. the way of uh, of living. I understand because yeah. I think that's very important for myself, and, uh, yourself, and everyone else. You know, because we also don't want to be sitting there. There's no income because this thing it, it's big. It's big, and it's, it's one of those things you really need to give it your time. The way I see, it. and that's my really my big vision to stay on, see the development of the construction set uh, yeah. completion, uh, really be part of it, not just by from the side lines or anything. But obviously, life also has to go on in terms of uh, yeah. making a living yeah. and all this kind of. And what's and what's the revenue model to su support that? And exactly. thinking about okay, well, then how do you do that with OSC International? How do you help me? How do I help you? How do you, how do we help everybody in a collaborative development model? That's the man, that's the model. I mean, change. I was, sorry to cut you. Um, you can continue. Yeah, yeah. That's so. So think about, but you have to. That has to be a deliberate thought. Like my. Uh, if there's an error, I mean, I know I did a lot of prototyping, but now when I reflect back on the last decade, all I thought about was prototypes. I didn't think about businesses or entrepreneurial side. How do you actually roll this out on a massive scale to to the civilization as it exists? Now, with that, uh, maybe I would say if I assess my own performance, I would say that if I... If I had much more of an entrepreneurial mindset, entrepreneurial mm. as in like sustainable revenue models, because yeah. we still made it, but we always it was always about you just no, scraping sure. by, yeah. right? Yeah. The, yeah. but we developed all this amazing stuff Technology, exactly. yeah. that now is ready for revenue models to be created around. Uh, the only thing I would say is maybe like I should have been thinking about that a little earlier. Yeah. So that there would be like the first product that's actually now generating revenue. Uh, only now are we doing that. Doing that. So I, I really agree with you. Uh, my, uh, I yeah. think that's very important to think like that because at the end of the day, I think uh, it, 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 it's a lot of hard work. I mean, if you, I think this is developed up to hundred percent. I was looking at the progress, but the last one that I saw, I think it was about eight. Of the fifty, that's almost hundred percent. A little more. Uh, let me show you that that graph actually. Yes. Uh, status. Actually, this is important. The status of completion. Yes. Um, yes. I saw. I think an older one. I think it was about eight. Uh, it was the the brick press. It was the obviously the three D printers, the touch table, the housing. Uh, yeah, it's it um, the, comparable. So. Uh, but here, um, that's where we are. Like the ones that are ready for enterprise are 3D printer, 
Yes, I saw the, the four CV press, four. power cube, mm -hmm. micro tractor, circuit mill, universal rotor. Um, those are pretty much ready for release. I would say so. The house and tractor, CB press. Yeah, I mean, there's there's ample room for enterprise. And and the thing that really surprises me is that nobody has stepped in to say, oh, now I'm going to make a business out of it. That's not happened. And I think that reflects that yeah. it's you know. Any enterprise is difficult. You know, you have to develop your markets and everything, and develop your products. So it's much different. And it's there's one side, there's the product prototype development, and then you, you st stop stop with the uh, prototyping, and then you actually talk about products. So the grand distinction between product, which is current thinking, and project, which is my former thinking, and perhaps my biggest mistake was the i mean it's it's just the standard stuff coming no, but from I, I really follow you yeah well the, let me just point this out the idea just to stick in your head the idea that um it's it's really like as simple as it's like basic math a business requires that you that more money comes in than goes yeah. out no, for sure. That's what we need to do. It took me a decade to learn that. <laughs> no, I <I'm> just <laughs> because that's why some of us <laughs> you always want to understand. I think for us, it's always the first question. Not that you really it's your focus or your only focus or anything, but you really need to understand. You have to put that part of the equation if you want to be a movement entrepreneur. So we're talking about movement entrepreneurs, not hippies. So as far as a movement entrepreneur, that has to be part mm. of the things that you consider. There's product, there's no, ethics, sure, yes. there's prototyping, exactly. there's yes. nature. All these yes. things are included, and you can't just be one or the other. The problem with today's of world course. is that yes. everyone lives in just like one of those realms. Exactly. The environmentalists yes. live in the earth or in the it's environment. The economists yes. live in economics. The technologists live in technology. You need to live in all these areas to yes, be uh, yes, a regenerative yes. thinker, integrative yes. thinker. Yeah, so that's 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 basically it. But um, so yeah, the state of completion is there. Yes. I'm gonna add one one more link to your like, which is there's a crash page called. If you haven't seen this, do like take a look at the crash course because it ta it does okay. list all these types of links. Uh, so yeah, so where do we go from here? So yeah, do spend a little bit of time just creating your vision documents because how you start the way you think about this i mean the pen is mightier than the sword like your mind is the most powerful oh, tool sure. you have here so spend a little bit of time thinking like what your ambitious goals are like your stretch goals and just document some of that and the good thing the thing i want to mention is all the documents like all those critical path documents like um in some way you can laugh at that is they're meaningless because like you will see this as soon as you write a business plan and you find the first piece of relevant information, your business plan changes. So it has to be changeable. So that's why like in a, in a roadmap, the roadmap is not, doesn't necessarily have a date on it because things are going to shift. In a critical path, yeah, ideally you have dates attached to that, but um, if you see that your critical path is wrong, you have to move stuff around. So actually the editable documents like the Google Docs, that's good. Like you can update your business plans and critical paths and roadmaps. The roadmap you should kind of like say, okay, this is it. I still keep the, okay, if you look at roadmap, um, I did that a long time ago, but it's still pretty much valid. Like it, we're not on it because it's, because the process is nonlinear actually. It's actually not a li linear process, but this thing, it's like it's like this generic idea of what we're trying to do here. And it's accurate, like the big picture is pretty much accurate. The details may not be super accurate, but there is also like these milestones that we did reach, like that are actually in black, things that have been done and stuff like that. But I think a document like this is definitely, definitely very useful, uh, v very useful to have. Because then you can study your, it's also a study document, you can study how you thought before and how, how it changed you, and yes, all of that. It's the whole transformation. Uh, so that's why actually, development. yeah, like to give you an example, on the critical path page, 
uh, you'll notice that the critical path is lit literally a log of things. So this is like 2013, 2014, 2015. Um, this is like 2016. It just continues, just continue updating, so you can study also what what your th thought pattern was and how how you succeeded or, or failed or things shifted off the schedule. So I just keep doing this until the thing is, you know, more and more accurate. Like you might think it's not so useful, but it, it is. It's super useful. It does change a lot, but if when you get really good at this, you can make pretty accurate predictions, and then. Um, that's 2020. Yeah, this is the latest, the seed home. That's kind of pretty much the critical path right here that we're on for 2020. So, but it's all useful because you can then study what you've done and study what worked what and what you, didn't. You, yeah. In fact, I, I understand the importance of the uh, because at some point I encountered project management myself. So I went as a project manager at some point. So yeah. I, would, I understand and then the iterative nature of how these things could be changed. Uh, you have to be adapting all this kind of methods and strategies. So I know even if you plan something now, it could go out by so, but then you, you still are able to track things from inception right down to the, to the completion uh, status. So by you achieve, and then you can, you have tracked all your, your, your progress that like you've done from 20, say 2013 or today in terms of yeah so let's talk about mm -hmm. media progress then so oh uh, so things like FreeCAD or 3d printing so what what do you think about mm -hmm. your next what would your next steps be uh, Outside of, so there's these documents maybe you want to just focus on that but you can also do some um, because I, I, I I've picked a lot of interest, I'll be honest. Uh, remember initially when I said uh, I was just not only looking at machines and sort of uh, leaders and tractors and all that, but then uh, the 3D printing uh, sort of captured me, uh, yeah, my mind. Uh, yeah. means, and then I really realized the powerful side of it that I didn't, I wasn't really much aware. So myself and my partner, for uh, instance, we were taking the other time you know, in terms of the, just the the, the power around the 3D printing uh, and the potential there. And then obviously, uh, like you were saying, I mean, this thing is still at the early stages because somebody was comparing it to the internet back in the days. Yeah. It's still in this cardless stages. So possibilities within that technology are really oh, unlimited. Absolutely. And then, you know, I was just, we were talking, myself and my partner, uh, uh, really just about the opportunity even around the educational side, for example, you know. Uh, it, it's just a big. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking obviously in the States it's even much more popular than it is this side. You know, but if you look at locally the, the, the 3D printing market, uh, although, like you explained it the other time, there are people that are really doing it, but I think those are people that are just at the front of the desk selling maybe what maybe a printer from some other person but they don't really know much they even really yeah. the personal aspect that they can apply to that so i mean we're just simply looking at that one aspect in terms of education just around if one is already competent then i mean just moving along spending obviously time and sort of uh, obviously even exploring more and more stuff yeah so i think it's a powerful tool uh, and i mean seconded by my partner as well so very much Powerful, I think. Yeah. Um, obviously, yes, with, uh, so like I said, I spend too much time. So I, 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 I funny enough, in terms of the 3D, uh, the, the free chat, uh, I, 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 we, we employ a lot of chat growing systems, uh, like the auto or whatever uh, systems they are. And then, but I, I'm not really the one who does the, the, the drawing myself. That's why I said, I want to apply myself, and then that's why I, I went to I went to FreeCAD and I, I started doing some tutorials and following just the basic stuff. But I mean, it's three green. There's not much there. I mean, just the remote axis, you know, your X, your Z, your 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 Y axis, and then obviously if you can do that, you can really be. So it shouldn't really be anything that's that's more difficult. Uh, and then I also did a bit of 
just crash crossing on online uh, in terms of programming on boards and all this kind of thing. There wasn't really much anything difficult. Uh, like I say, I, I, I had a look at some uh, online, just an online tutor by other people. Mm-hmm. It was just something that looked very basic because I've done a bit of video previously. So programming pretty much looks the same. It's just a matter of one familiarizing himself with the languages and all those yeah. kind of things. So, yeah, Python, all this. Uh, so there wasn't really much that I think is difficult. To be honest, I, I think it's something that should really be uh, within my grasp in, 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 in a short space of time. And then obviously trying to, because what I really want to get to is to be a competent and then start contributing in terms, like you say, you know, the at advanced stages of this thing, of this thing. But then, yeah, to really be at that point, at some point, uh, and really contribute positively. Yeah. Because I think it's massive to you. Yep, there's the tutorials. So if you look at my screen here, so yes. I'm see what you have. I was also. looking, I was following it some of the, you know, teaching some guys. I think there's a few videos I, I saw. And then, you know, yeah, the, the OSC workflow tutorial, that's like the most yeah. important. It kind of shows the uh, yeah. kind of yeah. workflow we do. But you can take a look at those things. Um, no, I, I, yeah. I think the, the, the one you're showing now, that's the one I was looking at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not hard. So, but I mean, those are not really, yeah, there's nothing technically challenging. I mean, I, 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 it's, it's, it's not even that. Uh, it's other that I was not aware of this power of 3D printing. So it's always something I knew about. Previously, but I never really thought much about it. But then I, I, I got exposed, and then obviously now it's sort of started to, it started like sort of uh, gaining this interest from my side as well. Yeah. Yes. So what do what do we do for next week? So call it until next week, and then what's your assignment for this week? So I mean, as much time as you have, but yeah, maybe look into. Yeah. I mean, you can obviously, do this. The foundation documents, you can do those. Oh, that's what I was thinking, yes. And then uh, we'll do the foundation documents. Uh, obviously, try and, yeah. So the rest, I think it will be just a matter of, uh, I, I don't know how you normally do it, uh, but I sort of uh, would want to be, maybe for, for the early days, let me just follow your lead, and then you can tell me in terms of where you want me to be. And then yeah. I can just sort of do that for now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So do the do the foundational documents first. Um, okay. Log everything on your log. So I want to I want to see you. So here, uh, on this page, uh, you got to update this, man. So so yeah, keep track of your time, how much you spend, and this is okay. But one comment about it, like so, put everything in there. It's not just like I'm trying to track you. This is about how do we learn for others. Like we can say though, for example. Uh, if you log your time here, why is that important? You, then you can say, oh, okay, for example, it took me so much time to learn FreeCAD and stuff like that. So you can get that out of the graphs um, by saying, so it's a good data point. And then you, you're the first guy, man. So you're, you're the you're the first person in the program. So you're like a you're a leader in this. So so what you show, I think it's it's, it's important for others to follow as an example. No, I follow me. So I think my bet because I was a bit, uh, it's this work and stuff that has been pulling me. So I'm going to put a lot yeah. of effort now just to, to get up to speed as well. Which is understandable. One of the biggest, that's the biggest mm-hmm. challenge. How do you free yourself from your work that you have yeah. to do to what you really yeah, want to do? I mean, that's that's the challenge we're trying to solve with our program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Now that I've left, there's no time in room for excuses. It's fine. I'll just, I'll, I'll get them. And then I'm sure by next week everything will be up to date, and then we okay. can maybe talk more into the plans and the foundation. Yeah, let's talk. About, let's let's review. Like, let's mm-hmm. go into the foundation docs and see where we go from okay. there. I'm happy then. Actually. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, okay, then. All right. Then I'll sort out the other stuff, and then yeah. Me, my partner always wanted to say hi because he's also doing some interesting thing. But I told her maybe she'll sit in next week with the session and the other session. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. So let's say hi, yes. Because okay. like I did, t- I did tell you just also an engineer. So yes. Okay. Also, okay. yes. All we'll right. do that. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, <laughs> okay, I appreciate so, that. Thanks. We'll and see you next week, man. I'll sort out the banking stuff. And we'll so same time next week, yeah? You want to do that? or? I think so. I think Fridays works best for me. And yeah. That time do you want to do the same time or can you do like one hour later or? Uh, later, same time, it doesn't matter. For me, 7 o'clock, I think it was perfect. Okay, let's move it one hour later so it's 1 p.m. my Eight time. Oh, this side, 1 p.m. that time, please. Okay, excellent. Okay, then, man. Okay. Excellent. Please uh, don't forget to send me the invite. Then. Yes, I will. I will. Next week. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, people. Thanks, Les We'll be in touch. Bye. Take care.